Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. Picked up one of these little electronic circuit kits. It's called Snap Circuits Junior. It has over a hundred different electronic circuits you can build with parts and things. There's the back side you can see. I did a lot of electronics when I was in the service, so we're going to open this up and show you how to use it. All right, let's open this up and see what all's in here. <clears throat> Here's all your circuitry, looks like. Snap circuit block layout shows you what's in there. Different circuits you can build. Here's all your parts right here. Different kinds of electronics. Circuit board layout, all kinds of stuff. I think we'll start building some of these, see what we can do with it, all right? Okay, today we're going to build the first circuit here. Here's your electronics manual. Here's your circuit board. Here's your parts. And here's your layout to show you where the parts are. We don't need that right now. This first project. Okay, here's what we need. Need the circuit board. We're going to need the battery pack. We're going to need the switch. We're going to need a three prong connector. We're going to need the bulb right there. Okay. Okay, here's the way you build this. It says if they are number one in the manual here, you put them in first. <clears throat> so here's the battery pack. It's a one. Here's our connectors. It's a one. Right there. Shows the switch. Goes right here on top of that. The light bulb. Right here on top of that. Double A batteries. Sure you get them in the right direction, okay? Like that. Now, it is a closed circuit. I'm sorry, it is an open circuit right now with the switch off. Turn the switch on. It's a closed circuit. See how it lights up there? Off, on. There is your very first one in the manual. Now I think we'll go in and build number two. We'll take this one apart first. Okay, for number two, project two, DC motor switch. We're going to need the propeller. We're going to need the battery pack. We're going to need switch S1. We're going to need the three prong connector. We're going to need the motor. Okay, so the first thing you do this the number ones go on first, that's this one, the battery pack, and the connector, okay? Now then your switch S1 goes in right there on top. The motor M1 goes in right there on top. Your propeller goes on right there, okay? Your batteries go in right there there it goes all right there it goes whoa took off didn't it we can turn it off now there is project number two we'll take this apart go into our next project okay this is project number three it's called sound activated switch we need the battery pack Right there, we need a five prong here with a switch. So let's get them in the right spot, okay. Right there, you need the S1 switch on and off. Right there, okay. You need a four prong there with a two connecting it. You need this to go right here with a two connector on it, like so. 
you need the whistle switch WC to go right there. You need this one to go right there. Now you've got a speaker. You need your black one to go here and here. Okay. You need your red one to go off the music I see to here. Connect it up like so. You need your batteries to go in the right way, right here and right here. I think we're ready to go. Turn the switch on. That worked real good, didn't it? See how I tapped on that whistle switch? Okay, there's your third circuit. We'll take this apart and get ready for number four. This is another sound switch uh, circuit, but this one has a resistor in it, so it's going to show you how the resistance lowers the sound. So first off, we need the battery pack. Right there. I need a 5 to go right there. I need a 2 to come off the battery pack to the 5 right there. Okay. I need a 6 to go up here. I need the switch S1 to go right there. I need the speaker. I need a 2. I need a speaker to go right there. Just like that. I need a 2 connector to connect to the speaker. I need the U2 to go. U1, I mean, goes right there. Okay. I need a 2 connector on it. I need the 100 ohm resistor right there. That's what's going to adjust our sound. I need the whistle switch to go right there. I need this one to connect right there. I need my batteries in here right. Okay, there we go. Let's see how it sounds. See how it's much lower? That 100 ohm resistor made it a lot lower. Let's see if the tap switch works. Yep. There it is. Okay, there was your first four circuits in this little snap circuit, Junior. It says there's a hundred circuits in here. We'll get some more built, so you leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about it. And if you want to see some more, we'll build some more. If you can, please help support this channel. You can send us things to video. Leave us a comment. We'll get you an address to send them to. Also, if you'd like to leave a donation, there is links in the description below to Patreon and PayPal, either one. Everything helps, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.